everyone, it's Lou Collins and welcome to another Friday 5 Minute Makes. Now this is really simple because we're going to be using up your patterned paper scraps. So I've got myself a card base, I've got a mat and layer of a coordinating card stock that matches your pattern paper. This really isn't a very large piece at all, it's maybe an inch and a half by six inches, something like that. And I'm simply going to take a circle die. Now what I'm going to do with the die is, uh, well, first of all, find the center. So you can mark, measure and mark this, of course, but I'm just going to pinch one edge. I'm not doing it all the way across so I don't get a fold line, just to give me the center line. And you can do this from the back or the front there. I'm then going to lay my die over the top here, just like so. Now, you want to make sure that you're only cutting halfway into the paper, okay? So we're going to take a little bit of low tack tape. So obviously I use my Creative Craft Products tape. Make sure that's halfway. Pop that on and run that through a die cutting machine. Next, I'm also going to cut some uh, half circles above and below that line too. So I'm just eyeballing it, I'm not measuring, but you can of course, as I say, measure if you prefer to work that way. So now we can start gluing our layers together. So I tend to put my mats and layers quite flat to the card to avoid too much bulk here. I personally prefer to have my embellishments raised up on foam if I'm going to raise anything up. So just popping that on with some wet glue. Let's very quickly lift that up because it wasn't quite straight. So making sure the borders around the edge are even. That's better, there we go. Love this teal color blue. And then this, I'm actually going to put this on with uh, an adhesive foam. So I've got a piece here. I'm going to cut a long strip that's going to go down the flat or the straight edge, just like so. And then I'll put some smaller pointed pieces in these here. So this piece I'm going to place down to the left. It can go to the left, to the right. You could make this into sort of a horizontal card with it this way. And then what I'm going to do with these pieces is place those on the opposite side like so. So we've got a really geometric card there with pretty floral paper. I'm just going to put over one of my sentiments from my sentiments for all pack. You could pop some gems, some pearls, something like that on, but it's a really, really quick card that's still got dimension, looks really funky, and it takes no time at all. But the best thing is you're using up your paper scraps. So thank you everybody for joining me today for the Friday 5 Minute Makes. Don't forget, of course, to shop anything that I've used using this link here. Subscribe to my channel just here, and if you want to catch up with the previous Friday 5 Minute Makes videos, you can see the playlist with them all just here. Take care, everybody. Have a fabulous weekend.